In this video, we're going to be going over the new Hornady Arrow Match bullets. This is actually going to be our last video doing the entire series of Hornady Arrow Match bullets in every caliber and grain weight that they have released it in. So, this one, last but very not least, uh, is the 140 Arrow Match in the 6.5 caliber. So, we're shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor. I'll put all the dis or, uh, details in the description as to what we're shooting and the equipment and components and everything. I don't have much time left, so I can't really go over everything right now, but basically we're shooting uh, MDT ACC chassis, impact precision action, Bartland prefit barrel, loophole scope. We're using alpha brass, the Hornady bullets, and a variation of different powders. So that's kind of the important stuff. The first one we're gonna shoot is 40 grains of H4350. We are shooting at about 100 yards. I'm gonna keep track of velocity and we'll go over, go over the spreads. I'm sorry, I know I'm trying to rush through this. But uh, we're gonna be working from six different powders here. So we're gonna be shooting five shot groups, roughly 100 yards, and uh, hopefully we'll get some really good groups, but we're just gonna be kind of seeing what the potential of these bullets are in the different powder spectrum. So from fast to slower kind of powder burn, we're just gonna be testing it out. First group's gonna be going right in the center of the center diamond. Twenty six sixty. Twenty seven thirteen. Twenty six sixty six. Twenty six sixty two. Twenty six sixty eight. So we actually had a pretty big spread on that. The group was good, but uh, the spread on the velocity was kind of crappy. So we're looking at an average muzzle velocity of 2674, extreme spread of 54, and a standard deviation of 20. So for a rifle like this and with good components, that kind of sucks. So we're going to move on from H4350, and next we're going to shoot 41.5 grains of Reloader 16. All right, 41.5 grains of Reloader 16. We're going to be going for the left of the center diamond here. 2798. 2850. That's a big spread right there. 2798 again. 2804 2789 so the accuracy is there but the velocity spread on that kind of sucked so our average muzzle velocity was 2808 our extreme spread was 62 and our standard deviation which was 22 so kind of all over the place if I'm being honest um maybe some of these other powders will do better but like I said it's an accurate bullet so far like it can definitely shoot good but the velocities are just crazy next up we got 43 grains of vitivory n555 and we're going to be going for the right side of the center diamond 2748 2750 2744 a lot better. Now watch me. See? 2779. 2751. We had a really, really good velocity spread, except for that one bullet went high. All the rest of them, it looks like they were just kind of in a ragged cluster. Unless there was two that went high. I can't actually tell. It's getting kind of dark. But, uh, Except for that one, everything was tight. The velocity and the accuracy. Average muzzle velocity of 2754, extreme spread of 35, and a standard deviation of 13. Could have been real cool, man. Could have been real cool. Next up, we got 45 grains of Vitivory N560. I've never actually shot this powder in 6.5 Creedmoor before, so I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens here. 
2741. Already looks like it's opening up a little bit. Twenty-seven fifty-seven. Twenty-seven thirty-five. And twenty-seven thirty-five or thirty-four. Really, that group didn't look a whole lot different than the rest of them. The average velocity was twenty-seven forty-one. Extreme spread of twenty-two and a standard deviation of eight. I think that's actually the first time we've had single digit standard deviation here so uh not what i was expecting but that's what you get so something for uh food for thought i guess next up we are going to have 42.5 grains of winchester stay ball 65 and we're going to be going for the top i'm sorry the bottom of the center diamond all right 42.5 grains of winchester stay ball 65 at the bottom of the center diamond here 2775 2733 2751 2721 and 2710 So full disclosure these velocities would probably be tighter if I did a little bit better brass prep, but um, I basically just took brand new alpha brass and I tumbled it in rice to try to give it a little bit of lubricity for seeding bullets and then I put primers in powder and a bullet. I did not full length size them, which I recommend doing normally, but I didn't do that. So that might have added some consistency as far as the velocity spreads but as far as the accuracy clearly it wasn't a problem but these could maybe shoot a little bit better but so far they shouldn't be shooting just fine average muzzle velocity of 2738 extreme spread of 65 and a standard deviation of 23 which is nuts because the accuracy is just awesome but you shoot a thousand yards you'll see that spread it'll it'll change things up a little bit for you so it does matter it's worth paying attention to but this close you're not going to notice that much of a difference the last group that we have is 43.5 grains of ramshot hunter powder all right for all the money here last five rounds 43.5 grains of ramshot hunter we're going to be going for the bottom right diamond 2662 2648 2676 2653 2663 I'll be honest guys it's getting dark enough I can't even see that group like I can see the outline of the target but as far as where the shots actually hit in that diamond I'm, I'm struggling to see whether or not it was very good, but it doesn't look like it was. Velocity spread was actually not that bad though. So average muzzle velocity of 2660, extreme spread of 29, and a standard deviation of less than 10. So that was one of our better velocity spreads. It just doesn't look like the group was great, but again, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing it. But that concludes our series on the arrow match bullets. So we have done all of them we did the 22 cals we did the 6 mil we did the 30 cal the 65 and uh, this is the last of them so if you guys are curious about the other ones this one as far as the accuracy went went the best which I put the most rifle behind this particular test so I kind of cheated a little bit for the 65 because I like 65 so um, I wanted to uh, demonstrate their capabilities as best I could but unfortunately I don't have a full custom rifle to put uh, every single one of those calibers down a pipe and see how they do <laughs> so this one was kind of um, it had a head start we'll put it that way but that's it guys so thank you again for watching please put uh, any 
comments down in the comment section and vote in the polls to help me decide what to do going forward so I know what you guys are looking for as far as video content is concerned. I always appreciate you watching. Y'all stay risen. Take care. Be safe. Glorify God in all that you do. We will see you in the next video.